I was recently speaking at a property event and somebody came up to me and asked, what was the one property-based app I genuinely didn't think that I could do without? Let me share with you what that is and how I use it. So the app in question is Trello. Now, if you're already a Trello user, that's fantastic. You've got two choices. You can either simply grab this ebook that I've put together for you, which gives you every single Trello board that I use in my property business, or can I suggest hanging on till the end? Because you're gonna see exactly how I use Trello in my property business. But let's assume for a moment that you're completely new. You're gonna to wanna to sign up for a new account, but I'm already an active user, so I'm simply going to log into my account here. And when I do so, the first thing I'm gonna see are all the different Trello boards that I'm actively working on. In fact, there's actually a lot more than this off the bottom of the screen here. Now I should explain, a Trello board, and these are all different boards, relates to different types of projects that you're working on. So if I simply click on example board here, just to show you a very simple board. Uh, it consists of a number of different columns, and you can have as many columns as you want, and you can head each column up in any way that you want. And on each column, you'll have different cards. So uh, hang on a second, I've just realized I've got to add a new card here. It's uh, important I buy Liana a present. But do you know what? It isn't quite as urgent as I was initially thinking. So I'm gonna slide it across to the do it this week tab. Um, so you can see that it's a very sort of graphical interface, the way that you actually move these things around. But let's just quickly click on one of these cards here now. And you can see that there's lots of ways that we can interact with this card. You can write a comment. And the more comments that you add, the more the previous comments just sort of slide down the screen. I can tag different members. And depending on the card or board that I'm using, I have lots and lots of different people that I can tag. You can uh, give, give different cards different labels and you can name these labels, you can color these labels, anything that you want. I use checklists enormously across all of my different types of Trello boards. Again, you decide what you're gonna use the checklists for and you decide what you want each checkbox to actually be used for. You can give each card a different due date. So for example, buying Liana this present is essential that I do it by Monday the 10th, for example. And the closer that we get to that date, the more apparent it will become on Trello. And when I forget and pass that date, it will turn red. <laughs> You can attach anything that you want to a Trello card. And this, in all truthfulness, is one of the most powerful aspects of Trello. But you can also connect it with files on Dropbox, on Box, on OneDrive. I mean, how powerful is that? Uh, and keep in mind, this is completely free as an app and works across all platforms, iPad, phones, desktops, for example. So let me just show you one of my boards. Now, this is my content scheduler. So I actually use this to when I'm preparing videos for, for, for you guys. So um, you can see I've got a number of different columns here. Um, this column here is the stuff that I'm currently working on. These are the various videos that I've actually finished and are gonna be uh, scheduled to actually be released. And this column here, you've probably already seen some of these. Uh, these are videos that have already been released. I've gotta just show you this quickly out of curiosity. These are all the unused video ideas that I'm currently working on. There's a 130, or rather ideas, I should say. It's 130 there. I need to crack on with that lot. Um, I use it for tenants. So I'll uh, advertise a new room, for example, and uh, if I find a tenant that comes to me and I think, yeah, do you know what, they sound quite good, I'll bring them into this board. And they'll go in this column here, and the first thing that happens is that they then go through a whole load of checklists and I have to be able to put a tick in every single one of these boxes. And when I get to the bottom and I've ticked every box, I welcome them into the house. And they then go into this column here, and these are all my current tenants, and obviously when they leave, then they go into the past tenants, uh, tenants column here. Now one of the great things about this, don't forget, keep in mind you can attach anything that you want to any of these cards. So you start to think about that. You can attach tenancy agreements, uh, various different PDFs, questionnaires that you've used, guarantee letters, guarantor letters for example. Incredibly powerful. So hopefully you can see how powerful Trello is, but before you go, be sure to download this ebook because in there I've given you every single Trello board that I use in my property business. Now I'm not for one second suggesting that you're gonna to wanna to use every single one of these, but I bet there's gonna be a few ideas in there that are gonna help you to put together your own Trello boards. 
I really hope you found that useful and helpful. And if you did, perhaps you could take a moment to subscribe if you're on YouTube, or if Facebook's more your kind of thing, please be sure to like my Facebook page, and that way I can let you know when the next property-related video is available to you. My name is Tony Law from Your First Four Houses. I really hope you enjoyed this one, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.